Hey everyone, it's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures. I'm so excited to finally get this unboxing your way. I think I say in the video, which is true, I ordered these back on Pink Friday from TSA, Treasure Studios Arts. I did receive them, I believe that's in November, uh, our traditional American Black Friday. I did receive them um, January, February-ish. However, they have been sitting on my shelf and I'm dying to open them because they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I want to uh, turn the camera around. Let's dig in and dive into the boxes and see what three paintings I chose in my delinquent three o'clock in the morning stage when they went live because, you know, we're just crazy like that on Black Friday. So um, let's turn it around. See you in a minute. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this package. This package has been sitting, like I said, if you've been watching my lives, I have a ton of unboxings that have just been sitting everywhere. What cracks me up with some of these factories is that <laughs> they like tape this thing to death. Oh my goodness. So I purchased these back in uh, the Black Friday, but it was the pink sale for Treasure Studios. You're not seeing me, but I'm, I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. But it's like they surround it in a trash bag and then they surround it in packing tape. <laughs> they wanna make sure it gets here. And it did come, but it's been sitting here for months and months. So we're going to get rid of that and we are going to have fun unboxing these. And you might be thinking, what in the world? Those are white boxes. I thought TSA was pink and black. Well, they are. Um, Rachel over at TSA had to work with the factories to figure out a way because all it wasn't being able, like tubes weren't able to be sent very well through the mail. So they're basically double boxed. Let's see. All right. And the boxes, when you got them, were also being destroyed. So we're gonna go over there. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to recycle but let's let's get these all unwrapped while we're talking while we're chit chatting we're just gonna pull i don't know why i tried to cut the boxes apart when i could have just opened the ends and pulled them out you know sometimes it just is what it is so i got two boxes and i got a tube i love the tubes I don't know why. I think it's just because they're fun. They're different. So, yes. Yeah, so, she had the pink sale, which was buy two, get one free. And so, I had to buy three, right? <laughs> if you like anything you see here, go check out the Treasure Studios art. Um, and you can use DP Gen 15 and get 15% off. Um, sometimes they do surprises where... If you order using my code, then you get into a drawing for a $25 gift card. Sometimes I retract and do like June through August, which hint, 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 that may be happening. So if you wanna go order in the month of June, just FYI, that I, I may not make that announcement until July. So don't worry, I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. I gotta pull, um, my January through April people to gift cards for them. Okay, so let's go back. I was getting distracted. You get this nice box. It comes in the box so it doesn't get hurt. On the end, you're going to get, I'll show you what it is in a minute. You get a sticker to let you know what this is. And it says it's a 50 by 60 owl sense by Nicole Payne. I really do enjoy Nicole. She does amazing animal work and 
I just, you know, this is not my normal thing I get. Like if you looked at it, crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. You go, well, that's not a gen painting. Um, it's 30 colors. Uh, TSA does use mounting tape. And what I love about the mounting is it is a double-sided type adhesive, but it's an upgradable um, adhesive. So they use it with cars. It also doesn't yellow. It's meant to be weather resistant, which means like in your house and framing, hot, cold, um, different things like that. You do not want to roll it backwards though, because the mounting tape does rest on top of the canvas versus poured glue. Um, and so you don't you don't want to cause any rivers or bubbles. Um, but yeah, let me, <coughs> excuse me, turn this around so you can see it. I just thought the shading was beautiful. So I went back and forth on what size to get. I ended up going with uh, the 60 by 50. 50 is my sweet spot. So usually if it has the 50 in the centimeters, I will pick that one because I do know it's going to come out well. I also know that anything that Rachel over at TSA does, she does not do anything that wouldn't look good. So their bottom, you know, you're, you're not going to get as much detail with the lesser size, but you're going to get a great product. And so normally I will do either the smallest or second up one from Rachel. I don't need something huge because I know that she's, as a graphic designer, um, has done a wonderful job making sure that everything works out well. Funny story, okay, so if you see here, this looks like a mint green, okay? Oops, my light is giving me issues. So it looks like a mint green, and when I first used this, I'm like, what the heck? I wanted white. Why is it mint green? But I'm telling you, it works. There's something about when you put it on the canvas and the shading of the other colors comes together, it works. It's usually a color that they'll use for like snow or different things like that. It's 68, um, 68, 65, but you get this sheet um, that's not stickers. So usually I'll cut out these two columns. I'll put it through my sticker machine and then I'll put it on my storage that I use. It also tells you down here, is it square, round, or crystal rhinestones? It gives you information if you need customer service. You've got this that you can create into a sticker or tape into your logbook. Um, I love that you get this sheet with everything you need to know. You also get your key in the upper left with a thumbnail, and you get your key in the bottom right. Um, it also has down below all the stuff that you need if you need to talk to them social media or customer service wise. Absolutely love it. Um, I do like that they come in baggies so that if you don't want to get up, you can you can do right outside of the baggies. The baggies do have the DMC numbers on them. Um, this has some nice, I thought it would be grays, but they're like lavenders, um, some oranges. These are like beautiful colors. Um, but yeah, so this is not normally my style, but I wanted to do something a little different, um, something a little wildlifey, and I thought this uh, would be a lot of fun. So just showing you, stepping outside my comfort zone, into places of the unknown. While I'm wrapping this up, I'm going to put a picture of the toolkit for you, so you know what comes in your pink Treasure Studios Art Toolkit. Super cool. Um, they do have a straightener and some thin um, multi-placers. So on and so forth. Now, some of us uh, love different accessories, and so the toolkits we tend to roll our eyes. I do like the multi placers because even if you have your own acrylic or uh, polymer clay pen, you can use the thin multi placers on them as well. Um, and TSA, go check them out because they do have more accessories now. So 
They have different fun washi tapes, um, things like that, that you can upgrade your diamond painting experience. All right, I'm trying to get this in here. Ooh. You guys do this, do you struggle? You know what, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. So we're just, we're just gonna put it in the box <laughs> and we're gonna call it good um, so that I have room to show you the next one. Feel free in my delinquency to fast forward if you desire to see what other fun things I have in store. Okay, so this one is so fun. It is a 50 by 100 and it's Butterfly by, I'm going to butcher this. I'm sorry, Deb. Um, Anibis Art Designs. I know her by Deborah Malcolm. She is a fabulous artist. I'm so excited. I've gotten to meet her through Zoom. She's going to be virtually at our retreat to help us learn how to dot paint. Um, but this is one I was drooling over um, and so I had to get it. It's huge though. It's absolutely huge. <laughs> and I think I got the smallest. I could be wrong because I bought this back in November. Um, I'm not going to show you a picture of the toolkit because it's the same thing. I just showed it to you. So look at all these vibrant colors. Oh my goodness. And I, of course, I picked square. Why did I pick square for a dot painting? I don't know, but it was like 3 o'clock in the morning when I ordered this. So again, I will show you a better picture on the screen right now. Um, but it shows you whether it's square, round, or crystal. You get the picture of what you're doing. And this has 40 colors. Whew. This is like a good winter painting when you just need some extra color in your life. I'm here in West Michigan. If there's a foot of snow on the ground and I need to remember what butterflies look like, this is what I need. And I was curious to see what dot painting in dots would look like. So here is the butterfly, and then you have all the different rainbow colors on the outside. And then as you go up, it goes down into the blues and the purples and the pinks. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's the mounted tape. So you do not want to roll it backwards. It does show that it's Butterfly by Annabelle's Art Designs. It's a 50 by 100. It gives you the key on the upper left and the lower right. I love the canvas. It's nice and strong and sturdy. High quality. The one thing about TSA with the mounting, because it's meant to be long lasting, is that if you're used to if you misplace a drill, you're used to moving them around with the tip of your pen, you may have to pull your tweezers out and take it actually off the canvas and reposition it. Some people find that, I just find it different. You know, each company is different. You have pros and cons to the different types of glue. I would much rather deal with that issue and know that my canvas is going to be here for the long run and that my drills are not going to go anywhere they shouldn't go um then complain crinkle, 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 about not being able to move them so they give you tweezers have your tweezers ready and you'll be fine all right so let's get to the tube i hope you guys are still hanging in there with me we are almost done this is a 55 by 70. It's called Floral Flamingos by Nicole Payne. I got this because, I don't know, flamingos are just kind of fun right now for me. I know I've got a flamingo from uh, Rachel um, 
Thod. I always get her last name wrong. I'm so sorry. She's no longer with TSA, but I, I'm so sad because I wanted to get most of her designs, but I didn't have the money at the time. And now she's no longer licensed, but I do have a flamingo of hers. So I feel like because I have, I think, five or six flamingos now, I should have like a flamingo party. Would you guys ever do that with me? Like we could have like a tropical paint along. Okay, let's see. Where's the opening? This was just fun. I felt like the feathers everywhere just created a whimsical atmosphere. Again, I'll put the picture in here. Man, I was in a square mood. Um, I love square, but sometimes you need a little bit of round in there. So this is 35 colors, um, square, and that's the flamingo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, I know my dog Zoe. She's like, oh, what about flamingos? Okay, so let's see. This color palette is super fun. It's got, you know, the pinks and um, the corals. It's got some darker colors to help things pop. Some uh, purples and greens. Absolutely wonderful. So let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of pink. So you get your thumbnail, like I said, and upper left corner is your key. You also have a key in the lower right corner, depending on where you're working. Here's the big mama flamingo. And they actually get their pink from eating shrimp is what I hear. Um, so this one had a lot of shrimp, a lot of shrimp with all these pink feathers. Oh my goodness. Um, a lot of shrimp. So yeah, if you guys are interested in some sort of tropical theme, maybe in midwinter, we'll figure this out. Um, I'm super excited. I, I have a ton of flamingos. I need to just flamingo it out. All right, so I am so excited. Again, if you would like 15% off, go to Treasure Studios Art and use DP Gen 15, um, probably for the month of June, July, August, I will, if you purchased from me using my code. Now, if you don't use the code, then I'm sorry, because there's, you know, the, the whole point is use the code and you get a gift card. So if you use the code, you get 15% off. It's not going to hurt you. It's going to give you something. And then you automatically get enrolled to win a $25 gift card. Super exciting. So thank you so, so much for your attention, for sticking in with three unboxings and one video with this crazy chick known as Jen from DP Addiction Adventures. So until next time, be blessed, take care, bye-bye.